welcome back to my channel you guys um i miss you guys so much but it's a lot has been happening i'm calling you guys back finally today is september the um september the 13th yeah september the 13th a week after we buried my first lady which is my aunt as well my mother's sister is my mom's sister as well y'all we buried my my first lady at my church and that's my mother's sister and that was my best friend slash mom i'm not trying to talk about it too much because i don't want to get emotional um but i just want to let you guys know the update of everything i'm actually getting ready for my um cousin fiance which is one of my friends as well you know like he's family you know right after my, we buried my aunt um that saturday that sunday we got a phone call that he passed away um and all of us was just at the funeral in the burial ground me him and my cousin you know and it's heartbreaking and devastating at the same time um i've been going through a lot of emotions ups and downs breaking down you know um, I'm nervous and shaking y'all because I'm trying to keep myself from, you know, crying so that I can explain to y'all it's Saturday morning. We getting prepared for the funeral. Um, I'm styling my hair now. To go to another funeral, which is his. Um, it's very, you know, emotional and I miss my aunt a lot because we did a lot of things together. We traveled together, you know, for you guys that don't know, she's posted on my YouTube years back as well. I posted her and her husband on my YouTube as their anniversary, you know, um, very difficult to talk about it. You know, give me a minute. Um, because that was my best friend. We did a lot of stuff together. Not only she was my first lady, she was my aunt, my mother's sister. And for you all that don't know, we buried my other aunt about a year and a half ago, which is her sister. <laughs> Um, yes. So it was like we didn't have a chance to say goodbye to each other, you know. Um, it's very hard for me. But I know God gonna help me through it. Um, but that was my best friend. You know, we always talked. We always did things together, even though I always looked at her, you know, as my first lady, because she was my first lady at my church. You know, I got saved up under her, you know, committing my life to Christ more. You know, we traveled together with church. We did a lot of things together, personal things together. And I'm gonna miss that, you know, I miss it now. But um, I know it's gonna take some time for me to heal. And there's some times that I'm not gonna heal on certain things of missing her, you know? Um, but I'm styling my hair, y'all. I just want to talk to y'all as well. Why I do my hair. 
hold on just a minute, y'all. But we buried her a week ago. We didn't find out about what was really going on with her. She didn't know um, what was going with her as going on with her as well. It was like a unexpected thing, um, and that's what hit us so hard, you know. As family, you know, as going through this, it hit us very hard unexpectedly. Um, I never would have thought in a million years that she would have left so soon. Hey, also, family, I wanted to tune in to let you all know um, it was during the time that I had found out that I had COVID during the time. And I remember texting her and letting her know um, through my son that I was sick during the time that she was actually going through what she was going through. And she responded back through text. Um, That was the last time that I communicated with her. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to come in and let you all know that part. I don't want to keep talking about it because it makes me so emotional every time that I talk about it. Um, today is October, um, the 15th. And today was a really rough day for me as well. I have my moments, but I pray that, you know, you all continue to keep me and my family in your prayers, especially her husband. Um... Yeah, so I love you all, family. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. I'm sorry for taking so long to edit this video over a month. But I have been having a lot of rainy days, a lot of days that I didn't want to talk to nobody, didn't want to be around nobody because I lost my best friend. <laughs> but that's what I wanted to let you all know. You know... But I know that God never makes a mistake in spite of the pain. But I know she's in a better place. But I know she's in a better place. And it's real difficult for me. Um cry every day. There was times that when it first happened the other week, it's been about a week now. Well, two weeks that she died, but it's been a week since that we buried her today. Because it was a week uh, last Saturday that we buried her. Um, at first, I fell in loss. Didn't know what to say. Didn't know how to respond. Um, but thank God for my son being there for me through the midst of this hurtful time, you know, um, just encouraging me, mom, she's in a better place. You know, we, we all going to miss her, but, um, she helped raise me. After my mom passed when I was 13, going on 14, and she promised my mom that she'll take care of me, and God allowed her to do that, you know. But I stayed up under her all my years after my mom died. So that's why I take it so dear to heart, you know. Let me get my rubber bands, y'all. But I'm back, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. Uh, welcome to Rashika Latay channel, Miss. I welcome you guys back. Um, this is a very difficult time uh, for me and my family because they was the only two aunts that was left for a while. Um, for these last couple of years, we buried another aunt during COVID. Then we turned around two years later, I think, and buried another aunt. And then this one here was the last aunt left. Like my grandma had 14 children. And she lived to see all of her children, you know, um, 
she's still here, 95. My grandma turned though, 95 a, a couple of days um, after her daughter passed. By the grace of God, and that's what she tell us. By the grace of God, she's hanging in there. And I would just want this for memories, because you guys going to see in the clip as well, where we was having our family gathering just a couple of weeks before she passed unexpectedly. She was sitting on the sofa, you know, playing with my little cousin, the little baby, and you guys will see that in the clip she had on the um, the jersey, sitting on the sofa. But as my friend, she always been my best friend. And sometimes it's hard to move throughout the day and do my regular my regular routine or to do what I usually do because I'm always going through the motions of missing her you know and then now this morning the next week after y'all excuse me the next week after we bury my cousin you know and our last time was the day before that he passed. We was out to the cemetery. Um, going, to, we did a balloon release for my aunt, the other aunt that just passed away. And we was out there just taking pictures, laughing, having a good time, not knowing that he was gonna leave us the next day. So. I'm just telling y'all, love on y'all loved ones, because we don't know when our time is up. We got to serve the Lord, like my aunt always told me, serve the Lord while you're able. And she had a strong relationship with the Lord, you know, me and her, you know, walk by faith with trusting God, you know, throughout our years. And I served her, you know, as my first lady in the church, you know. Like, we did a lot together, you know. She would come over and stay with me when, I, you know, um, we would travel together to church functions, uh, do her hair, you know, do her nails and stuff like that. We did a lot of stuff together. You know, I got a lot of memories. And then later, I'm going to show you guys some of the cards that she written me. And I believe that the last card that she written me when I found out her situation, she was in the hospital. I was cleaning my house that week uh, before she passed away. And the card that she written me for my birthday this year, it my bag and I was wondering like what a card was that because she always give me cards for my birthday but when she gave it to me it was at church and I had forgot that I put the bag um the card in my work bag you know um but I'm so grateful that she always told me I'm gonna always give you cards because I know that you'll keep them and you she used to always say put them in your refrigerator because you're gonna need them you know stuff like that um, but I'm so grateful that we spent a lot of time together. I know it's going to be a long journey. Sorry, y'all, of me healing from this, you know. And I'm not going to be able to heal all the way because you never heal from death, you know, like that from someone that you walk with closely, you know, daily. You know, 
uh, throughout your years, you know, not just daily, but throughout your years from a young girl, you know, that's all I knew as mom. And now I don't have that, you know, I lost my first mom. And then now she's gone as my spiritual mother. And But I'll talk more about it, y'all. I got to finish getting my hair done. I'll tune back in. Um, I got to get myself together because we got to leave out of here within three hours or so. And I got to finish up my hair. And I don't want to keep brand out, um crying because I know it'll break me down, you know, if I keep talking about it. But not saying that I'm not going to talk about it more with you guys, you know, because I know you all will help me to heal through this as well. Because you all is like my family, you know. Sorry about the lighting because I'm moving. I know that you all are my family and you've been here since day one, you know. And welcome those that just joined the family, you know, the greatness family. Um, yeah, so I know that you all have helped me through this process of encouraging me, you know. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I know you all have helped me through this process of encouraging me and helping me to keep going, you know. Um, but I love you all so much. I'm washing my hands. Let me get my hair and stuff taken care of. I got to do my press on nails and stuff because we got to get down. We got to drive like 35 minutes to get there to the church. And our church is the one that hosting. He also was a member to our church as well. So um, imagine that, you know, a church that going through death back to back, you know, one week this week, one week the next week. It's a lot. But we know that by the help of the Lord, he's going to give us grace to go through it. But I'll tune back in. I love y'all so much and thank you for supporting me. I'll call y'all back. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say But we shall be changed. We're gonna be changed in the moment of the thinking of an eye at the last truth. When this mortal shall have put on immortality. When this corruption had put on incorruption. Then shall be brought the path that is written, death and slumber. Oh death.
as a bride is a done for her husband. It was so attractive. This city we are carrying, we're going to live. Praise the Lord somebody. The scripture declared that it's all gold. Pure gold. Somebody said the streets going to be paid and all the streets going to be gold. The city she saw, it had 12 gates. And the 12 gates had the name of the 12 apostles. And the city had 12 foundations. And the 12 foundations was the name of the apostles. They had their name, oh Israel. God loved you. That's why the Bible said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They that love you shall prosper. God had picked out that nation, oh God, and they going, you don't know them now. They're going through trouble now. But someday when you get to that city, oh my God, oh my God, they're going to be the head of the nation in our team. And we carry them. Noah John said, I saw the tabernacle of God had dwelt on earth with man. And there was no more seed. No more seed. God and himself and the Lamb will be there. And what I love about it, there will be no more death. This won't be the the thing of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, hey, you not given us the victory. More than conquerors. Oh my God. You know, I'm coming in now, I understand. Those who name are not written in the book of life. You got your home. You're gonna have your home in the lake of fire. But just a, a page, just the next door. The next door where Karen gonna live. She read about that place. No, I don't want to go there. But the slipper page will open, I show you. If you will look to first, the St. John 14, very familiar. Verse 1 that Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. In my Father's house. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I'm going to be. Hey, family, I'm Keep calling y'all back. I'm actually in the store. Um, I pray that you all are having a blessed day. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that you can be notified every time you girl uploads you. I just got off of work, y'all, but I'm actually picking up some groceries. And I just wanted to um, call y'all back. Your girl is going a little bit better. You know, coming along every day. But, um, yeah, it's a process. I'm getting groceries, and I just want to call y'all to let y'all see what your girl is doing, to let y'all know that I'm okay. I'm okay. And y'all stay tuned. I'll get y'all back.
All that I crave when you're away, nights of sleep.
you heard me and Rob, oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you.